This man named Edward, he is a wealthy man who is often happy at the suffering of others, because he often takes advantage by buying and selling back companies that are on the verge of bankruptcy. Because he was too busy with his business, he's forgot that he had a lover to pay attention to. Edward only remembers his lover when he needs a companion for his business trip. As happened that day, he asked her to accompany him to California. However, his request was rejected by her and their relationship ended. Edward, who felt sad, finally immediately went to calm down by driving the new car owned by his lawyer named Philip. On the other hand, there is a woman who is getting ready for work only when night falls. This woman's named Vivian. She is a night butterfly. She was forced to do the job because she had to survive amidst the harsh life in her city. No matter how hard she works, she still lives in poverty. Even Vivian had to protect herself from the landlord who kept collecting rent money. With slowly, she walked away to her workplace. But before going to work, she meets a roommate named Kit. It turned out that it was Kit who had taken her rent payment. Kit does it so she can party on drugs. Instead of feeling guilty, Kit scolded the ungrateful Vivian, even though it was Kit who had been helping her when she needed a ride and enlightenment on her problems. Hearing this, Vivian was silent and could only forgive her. Vivian then went to her workplace. She was immediately disappointed when none of the customers came to approach her, even though Vivian's finances were now running low. When she was about to give up, suddenly a luxury car stopped in front of her. Not wanting to miss this opportunity, she then went to collect her sustenance. It turned out that the luxury car was driven by Edward. Although Edward refused her invitation for a date, he still used her services as a guide to the hotel where he was staying. Because in this world nothing comes for free, Vivian wanted Edward to pay for it anyway. And at that time he immediately paid her in cash. During the trip, Vivian was frightened by how messy Edward was driving his car. Understandably, he usually drives a limousine, not driving a manual car like this. Because she still wanted to live, she then took over the wheel of the car. After feeling fine, Edward then asked how much she usually earned. She then replied that she could earn around $100 in just one hour. He was shocked to hear that. Arriving at the hotel, after he thanked, Vivian wanted to say goodbye. Having to save money, she had no other choice. So she had to go home by bus. While waiting for the bus, Edward approached here and invited her to accompany him for the night. After arrived at the hotel, Vivian was amazed by the magnificence of the hotel. She admiration even grew when she found out that Edward was actually occupying an elite and luxurious room. She immediately realized that Edward was a very rich man. Remembering time is money, she wanted Edward to get to it and stop stalling for time. However, he kept rejecting her, because Edward was still awkward and he wanted to talk casually with her. Seeing Vivian keep pushing him, Edward finally offered her to stay there, not just an hour, but an entire night at Vivian's set rate. Hearing that, she happily accepted the offer. He then let she's watch TV, while he focused on his work. But Edward's attention was immediately diverted when he heard Vivian's laughter. Knowing she was being watched, Vivian then used the moment to approach him, until finally they were lulled and spent the night together having an adult relationship. In the morning at breakfast, she matter-of-factly asked about his work. She was eager to know where her customer's wealth came from. Apparently, Edward's job was a businessman who frequently bought and sold nearly bankrupt companies. In fact, that week he was planning to buy the company for $10 billion. Hearing that, Vivian was shocked. While getting ready for work, Philip suddenly called. He told Edward that his client, Morse, would invite Edward to dinner tonight. In order for the dinner to run smoothly, Philip asked him to go with his partner and to coincide with that, Edward thought of inviting Vivian. Edward then invited Vivian to accompany him for dinner tonight. He also offered her to be his partner when meeting with his business partners as well as staying with him for a week. When she found out that Edward was willing to pay the high price, Vivian immediately accepted the offer. Before leaving for work, he deliberately gave her a lot of money so she could buy a dress for dinner tonight. At that time, Vivian immediately went shopping. <laughs> However, when she entered a boutique, no one warmly welcomed Vivian's arrival. They looked down on her just because Vivian looked like a tramp. The maids thought that someone like she would never be able to afford all the expensive clothes in the boutique. Vivian finally decided to return to the hotel with hurt feelings. When she arrived at the hotel and wanted to go straight to her room, suddenly the hotel manager named Thompson intercepted her. She was shocked. She thought that Thompson would join to insulting her like trash and throw her out of the hotel. However, she was wrong. After she complained about the incident at the boutique earlier, Thompson quickly helped her that making Vivian cry. It turned out that Thompson had asked his partner to choose a dress that fit Vivian. After getting her dress, she immediately thanked Thompson. Not long after, Vivian again asked for Thompson's help to teach her how to use cutlery properly and correctly. Meanwhile, on the other hand, Edward received news that he was in danger of failing to buy Morse's company because Morse would soon find investors. Not wanting it to be a disaster for his business, Edward then used various methods to prevent Morse from getting the investor. 
Finally night fell, Edward came to pick up Vivian in the lobby. He was spontaneously fascinated by Vivian's truly charming appearance. They immediately went to a fancy restaurant. Arriving at the restaurant, she was confused when she had to eat snails. Until finally that making the snail fly about a servant. Do you understand? Stock, Mr. Morse, you are going on. We're little suckers. Finally, the meeting ended in a fight. Morse was angry when he found out that Edward was the mastermind behind his failure to find investors. Knowing his plan was not going well, he then felt sad. Vivian, who understood Edward's condition, immediately comforted him with all her might. However, the sadness did not diminish. Instead, he asked Vivian to be quiet. The next day, Edward gave Vivian his credit card. He wanted Vivian to go back shopping as much as she wanted. But instead of being happy, she was depressed and knew what had happened to her yesterday. Then he immediately accompanied Vivian to go to the most expensive boutique. He said that someone was nice to him because he saw his credit card not because he knew who he was. Because of that, Vivian then started shopping. At noon, Edward took Vivian out to meet all of his business associates. Initially, she was afraid that someone would recognize her and find out her true identity. However, Edward quickly convinced that all of that was only in Vivian's mind. However, when Philip asked who Vivian was, Edward who initially didn't want to answer, was suddenly provoked and accidentally revealed her identity, who was a night butterfly. This was because he felt jealous when he saw she getting along with Morse's grandson and Edward did not accept Vivian being accused of spying for Morse. Philip, who knew that fact, immediately teased and belittled her. He was ready to pay her after her business with Edward was over. Vivian was in complete shock. She didn't expect Edward to reveal her true identity. When she returned to hotel, she did not hesitate to vent her anger on Edward. Now she felt that she was the most despicable person and had no self-esteem anymore. She is indeed a night butterfly, but not everyone can touch her. After all, Vivian wasn't a toy to be lent around. She who was very annoyed by that, finally decided to leave. But instead of preventing, Edward let her go by paying Vivian and unexpectedly, she didn't take any money from him at all. Seeing this, he deeply regretted his actions when Vivian left without bringing anything, because he knew what she needed was certainty, not money. Edward also apologized to her. He had made a mistake, because he was burning with jealousy. She finally melted and forgave him. As serious as he was, Edward wanted to ask Vivian to go on a date to San Francisco. Before leaving, he handed Vivian a diamond necklace. The necklace was accidentally rented by him from a jewelry store and all eyes were on her beauty. They then depart for San Francisco on Edward's private jet. All the way up to San Francisco. Minutes. Edward apparently invited her to watch an opera, where the opera seemed to be telling the story of her life with Edward. Vivian then moved to tears. She was really impressed with the opera. They then spent a time together. The next day, while having breakfast, Edward said that he would soon return to New York. He wanted Vivian to come with him without worrying about anything else, because he had prepared everything, starting from apartments, cars, and shops. But she firmly refused. Vivian wants her love story to end like Rapunzel's fairy tale. After back from San Francisco, she immediately met Kit and that's when Vivian realized that her heart was tied to Edward. But she is self-aware that whenever she will never have a happy ending with him, because there are too many differences between them. After all, Vivian didn't live in a fairyland. She lives in a world called reality. On the other hand, Edward is busy discussing the fate of Morse's company. Morse again challenged him. He doesn't want to sell his company, considering there are many people who have to provide for their families. After considering his decision, Edward spoke heart to heart with Morse and finally he left Morse's company. Edward then promised that he would inject funds until Morse's company could be victorious again. Phillips, who did not accept his decision, immediately took out his anger on Vivian. He was sure that it was Vivian who had changed Edward. And when he was about to harass her, Edward came and immediately hit him. Edward then fired and kicked Philip out of his room. He realized that it was Philip who had been making him look like a lone shark. For that incident, she made up her mind to leave Edward. Vivian didn't want to be constantly looked down upon. After all, she was still the same as any other woman. She also wanted to build a household with the person she loved with all her heart. She then said goodbye to Thompson. She is very grateful for all the kindness that Thompson has given. She advised Thompson to keep be a good person. Seeing Edward didn't stop her in the least, and it made she realize that it was all over. On the other hand, Edward actually felt an incredible emptiness when Vivian wasn't by his side. The next day, Vivian was busy packing her things. She finally chose to return to her hometown and continue her schooling which had been interrupted. And when the day Edward was going back to New York, Thompson suddenly said that something precious must be hard to let go. 
and at that moment Edward realized that he couldn't let Vivian go willingly. When Vivian was about to leave, suddenly she was surprised by the arrival of Edward, like her dream all along, and their relationship blossomed again into a harmonious and compatible couple. And the movie ends. Thank you.